The next thing I want to adjust is the sky, and that's obviously more difficult than the tower itself because the tower was a very complex, uh, compact kind of element. It had uh, specific edges, which had a high contrast to the to the background. The sky and the trees are a bit more difficult, but you, uh, as I'm going to show you in a second, it's almost as easy to do that with the same kind of uh, tools. So let me first click done here and then I'm going to apply a second adjustment by clicking on the adjustment brush again and clicking new and I'm going to let me see go down to the brush section increase the size just a little bit a little bit bigger here actually I'm going to do this to do the same thing here my finger on the alt key in case I need the eraser but I'm not going to press the alt key put the cursor cross over the sky and then Again, I forgot to to tick that, which I always forget. Take that to see the mask, to see what you're doing. Put the, the cross on the sky and then just slowly brush along the edges here. And you see that Lightroom does a very good job of separating the sky part from the trees. The same thing here on the tower. So now I am, I use the cross on the sky and not on the objects like on the tower which I did before and you can actually be more careful than I am right now but I want to speed that up some so that you don't have to watch me uh, doing very boring uh, masking work and once I have finished the the edges of the sky where the sky meet, meets the, the trees and the, and the tower I'm going to turn off the auto mask feature again and I'm just completing the brush, the inside of that mask, so to speak, because there's no danger of brushing over anything that I don't want inside the mask. And then the next thing is I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to um, maybe not quite as far. <clears throat> I'm going to use a similar technique to fill those holes which you see here because all of those would not receive any of the adjustments and to do that I'm creating a rather big a rather large uh, um, brush I'm activating the auto mask feature again and I am clicking inside those areas and make sure that you only click on the blue parts and by doing so, Lightroom is going to pick up that color of the sky and it's going to mask anything that matches that co those colors and tones, leaving out the green parts of the, of the tree. So you see that rather quickly, you can create a very complex mask. And whenever you do something wrong, you can just uh, hit Control C on your keyboard to undo that and go one step back. And I'm not going to go into all those little holes just because I want to save some time here. But you can very you can be very, very detailed in doing so here. Okay, so I could go on and click on those guys here, and you can see piece by piece I'm filling those those gaps in the trees. Same thing here on the right side. And let me just quickly fill a few of those. And again, you can always go back in later and, and uh, change that mask as you see fit. Mm -hmm. 